Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, coming at you with more footage from the early access event for the Brothers War, which means the video is sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. And while the game doesn't come out until Tuesday the 15th for most people, a bunch of streamers got the early access to make a bunch of content for you so you can watch some sweet footage with sweet decks before you decide what to craft. And this one, you might want to craft. I know, a uh, big stompy team nonsense lists you've probably seen things along the lines of you play teamer and you cast titan of industry and you copy it with fable of the mirror breaker before but you have not seen it like this because the key card in our deck is something that snuck out there in dominaria united but has now become a major card because of a few printings that card is chaotic transformation this six mana sorcery says exile up to one artifact one creature, one enchantment, one planeswalker, or one land. These, all, of course, are all optional, and they can be yours or your opponent's, but up to one of each. For each permanent exile this way, its controller reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a card that shares a card type with it, and they put that card onto the battlefield and then shuffle. Much like we've seen with Transmogrify, with Invoke Creativity, usually in... Uh, format other formats like Luca if you remember just guy Luca from standard you know the thing is you just put one type of creature in your deck and then you make a token creature and then you can cheat out some big creature now this was available before with Titan of Industry and it's not like a new thing to make a token like from your fable of the mirror breaker and turn it into a Titan of Industry what's crazy now is what goes alongside it when you also convert an artifact you see here we've got this new card it's called portal to Phyrexia this is a nine mana mythic artifact and when it enters the battlefield each opponent sacrifices three creatures it's like a board wipe and it says at the beginning of your upkeep put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control it's phyrexian in addition to other types so that's what we're doing we're making treasures we're making treasures with cards like big score and of course our fable of the mirror breaker goblin shaman and then we're going to transform those using chaotic transformation into the portal to Phyrexia, which blows up most of the opponent's board, usually all of it, and then you start getting those creatures back every upkeep, and it's actually pretty difficult to get this off the field. Now, you combine that with getting a Titan of Industry, and you also create a massive battlefield presence, and if they happen to kill your Titan, you bring it back with the portal? It's a lot. It's a lot of value, guys. It's absolutely wild. And I don't have that many new cards in the deck. In the mana base, you know, we got we got a blast zone among the lands because maybe you'll transmogrify into it by picking a land. I don't know. But mostly it's all about portal. We've also got Hercules Final Meditation. This is one that I want to try in a big mana deck for blue, blue, blue for an instant at rare. As long as it's not your turn, it costs three more to cast 10 crazy and it says return all non-land permanents to their owner's hands and end the turn so a, a bit of uh everybody pick them back up and with the end the turn effect if you do it on the opponent's turn it can act as a counter spell absolutely wild so one something i really wanted to try in the deck so that's gonna be it the rest of the deck is we counter a few things we ramp we draw cards and then we try to set up chaotic transformation into titan and portal to completely take over the game you're gonna be amazed at what this can do let's dive in let the nonsense begin ladies and gentlemen we go toe to toe with twitch royalty it's day nine and this hand is sus, but if we draw a blue source, it's great. And we have a Fable, which is one of the most important cards in our deck. But we might get completely run over against day nine. I'm going to take a mulligan. This is better. This is much better. What are we getting rid of? I guess I'll get rid of one of the fires. Hopefully we don't need both of them. Come at me, bro. Mishra's Foundry, Azusa's Many Journeys. It's a ramp off. We are both ramping. What could go wrong? Gain three life, sure. Attack me with Foundry? I might kill it. Come at me, bro. It turns into a 2-2. But he's gotta wonder if I can kill it. 
It's me, it's CGV. I always have something, don't I? Unless I don't. All right, we draw the portal. We're a long way from casting it, but we can discard it to the big score. There's still one in the deck. Path to the festival. That's another ramp. Okay. Where are you going with all that mana, Day 9? Hercule's final meditation seems like a good keep. We have another two lands. I'm going to put this on the bottom. I'm going to draw this, and we'll sneak out one of these lands. Cascade. Cool. We'll hold. Not afraid of the likeness of the Seeker. I can take a punch from that. Six mana, though. Don't worry, it's not always 10 mana. Just when it's the opponent's turn. That's a 5-5. Five, five. I guess we can just kill it with fires. That's pretty good. Alright. Please don't have Tamiyo safekeeping. I will call shenanigans. Perfect. There's the transformation, but we don't have a fable yet. We just need to big score and then transform an artifact and we'll be fine. Fall, if I, what it, create three power stones. What are you up to? Is this gonna be a, a leveler deck? Play a few leveler decks today. Maybe I should hold off on transforming into the portal till after whatever it is has hit the battlefield. I'm going to discard this and hang on to this portal because we're getting to a point where we could almost cast it. Yeah, we could. But I think I want to wait and see what comes out of this pile. Patience, 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 patience. Let's go for a fable. Let's go for a land. Yeah, I... Okay, I could transform right now. I might get an arcane bombardment, but I'd at least get another fable. I would get a titan. I wouldn't get a portal. So we wait. We wait, we wait, we wait. I think I'm actually going to make the dorks. I predict big scary. I'm going to send two of them. Because I think something huge is coming, and I, I hope it doesn't have trample. Okay, just you. I'll take that. Eleven. All that mana. What are you going to do with it? The portal! Okay. Portal on portal damage. Shoot that down. Turns out making the devils was good. There is a root wire amalgam down there. All right, discard up to two cards. Oh. <laughs> um, I could probably turn their portal into something else if I'm not exiling, getting my own portal. This is so weird, but I think it's right. All right, I'm going to just decline. And we're going to... Oh, wait. All I have to do is get a Titan to blow up their portal. That's easy enough. That's easy enough. All right, transformation. I choose this treasure and this creature. And no enchantment and no planeswalker. And why not this land? What do we got? There's a Titan. There's a portal. There's a land. You spin the land just because you might get a non-pain land. All right. Make a 4-4. Four, four. I guess we'll make a shield counter in case they have leveler, right? It's destroy target permanent, not exile it. There's the leveler. Down goes the portal. I get a power stone. You want to swing? No? Oh yeah, summoning sickness. Not how that works. All right, my portal. There is an earth. An earth is good. So do I swing? I'm not dead when this becomes unearthed. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> Heavyweight matchup here. Absolute haymakers being tossed. Portal. But I get first crack with my portal to get back the Titan to blow up your portal? Or? Hmm. No, it has to be the Titan. It has to be. Yeah, we'll go shield counter again. I don't know. If we're going to keep our portal, we can go 4-4. Four, four. Ooh. How much is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nope. Power Stone can't be used to cast the Meditation. One mana short. So be it. Bombardment. <laughs> to the top rope. And another fable. Let's see what happens. There's still a leveler down there. Yep. <laughs> what are you going to kill? The Titan? Nope. Had to be the portal. All right. 8-8 eight, eight, Trample. Then scoops him up. Didn't even get to do the final meditation. It was going to be so poetic. Ever since the announcement of the CoolStuffInc.com Dragon Rider token and playmat bundle, people have been asking me, CGB, what qualifies you to be a Dragon Rider? Check out the Covert Go Blue Dragon Rider playmat and token bundle. Only 500 available and only available for pre-order until November 21st. CoolStuffInc.com slash CGB. Drakuris! Dracuris? Dra Dracuris. Dr Drasai. Dracuris! It's us versus esports. We go first. We have big score into transformation. Nothing else. Keep. <laughs> Probably not. But it's early access. Have some fun. All right, just need to draw something that is into land. Eh? A deck? How about joint exploration? Can you do that for me? Loam speaker. Wish I could kill it, but don't got no cards that do that. Okay, that's not a good draw either. I'm getting nervous. Okay. Opponent's going to have mana. Okay, fast turn. <laughs> Here they come. Wish I had a creature to discard, but we only have one type of creature in this whole deck, and it's the Titan. All right, three creatures, perfect. Drop you off. Fires. Okay, play this. Cast the transformation. Gotta make sure we do this right. Target my artifact. I'm also going to submit zero on the creatures. And enchantment zero, planeswalker zero, land will go for one. Yay, a storm carved coast and -a! portal to Phyrexia. Get him out of here. Feels so good, man. But we're just getting started. I'll take that loam speaker. I think I'll hang on to Boseju just in case they play something I can't really deal with. And here's Arcane Bombardment. Oh, just you wait. Wedding announcement. Sure. Now that is something that's Boseju-able. Tycoon, yep. Uh, yeah, I'll get another one of these. Seems fun. <laughs> Not really even something I want to play when I'm doing all this. 
So well, let's just drop it into the graveyard. Maybe we'll even exile it with bombardment. What do we get? We got a big score. Okay. And drop this. Maybe we'll exile that with bombardment soon. Silver Scrutiny's there. Play a Fable. Pass the turn. Devilish Valet. Spoopy. That thing can grow exponentially whenever another creature enters the battlefield. Double its power. Uh, okay. You gonna rumble? No? All right. Let's take out, take out that wedding announcement. Yeah, could tell this seems fun. Prefer devilish valet. Discard those, draw some fresh ones, join exploration, Titan. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Just gonna do one of these and see what we get with the bombardment. Oh, the meditation. Not exactly what I had in mind here. I'm kind of too far ahead to use it. Decline. <laughs> but it is a great bailout if the opponent does anything too dangerous. Transformation. Awesome. Yeah, I think we'll just pass and draw on their turn. I, I kind of want to see what they do with this valet, though. Not going to lie. I want to see how big they can make it. And then in response, we can just play an instant trigger arcane bombardment and cast final meditation to reset it if we have to. I want to see, I want I want to see what they can do. Kyla's reconstruction x equals 5. Look at the top 7 of your library. Put x artifact or creature cards man value 3 or less onto the battlefield. Okay? Show me. Oh, that is That's just sad. I'm sad for you, opponent. I'll, I'll, I'll end it. I'll finish it. I'll finish it. Bang, bang. Oof. Oof. So much pain. I've had those I've had those games of magic that just aren't your day. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Uh, well, well, you know, if I had their chance. Now it's my turn. Uh chaotic transformation. Uh there is an uh actually there's no more artifacts in the deck, right? Submit zero. Creature. Uh this'll do. Uh we'll go for one of those though. Uh enchantment. Nope. Submit zero. Planeswalker, submit zero, land. Why not? Big score. All right. Fire is a victory. Why not kick it? Why not? Big score. Discard that. Decline. Oh, I could have made more creatures with that. That was the wrong discard. Now come back. Okay. All right. Do that. Do that. Make a 4-4. Four, four. Let's put a shield counter on our uh, devilish valet. That seems fun. Play this. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. I need... I need one more creature. Let's go for it.
didn't get it. Joint exploration, you got this? Maybe? Yes. You always come through for me. Finish them. Now that is how you devilish valet. <laughs> Sweet. Big props to the opponent for letting me play their sweet deck. All right, joint exploration, big score. Bombardment and portal. Could be an exciting hand. Evolved sleeper, mono black type stuff. Feel like we've seen it before. Two points. Two points. No other one drop. Let's go ahead and do this now. We've got two of them after all. We just wanted to make sure we found land and we did. Black, red. The classic. Two points. You're going to cast something. Is it a fable? It's always a fable. Trespasser. Okay. Annoying. It's going to make our bombardment kind of unplayable, unfortunately. That and Invoke Despair are a big reason why bombardment got completely retired. Can hold Make Disappear, though. All right, we don't want that trespasser to flip. So we'll go like this. Then we'll have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost a portal. I think I've got to get rid of the arcane bombardment. Oh, there's a Titan. Mishra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, we can. Nail this make disappear. Catch that nasty Mishra. And then still play a Titan. Eleven life is still plenty. To the top rope we go, but we're kind of out of gas. Not gonna lie, makes me nervous. We'll make a 4-4, we'll put a shield counter on the Titan. Shieldred, it's gonna be a lot to cope with. Transformation, we need an artifact. All right, target one artifact, submit zero. Target a creature right there. Target an enchantment, submit zero. Submit zero, target a land, why not? Okay, get a mountain, get another titan, get another 4-4, four, four, get another shield. So, how much mana do we have? We need two land drops before we can cast portal. Might never get there. So I guess we have to pressure our opponent big time. They don't have death touch yet, except through a shieldred. So they break the shield counter, and they lose their trespasser doing it. Okay, there's your death touch. Misery shadow means if something dies, it gets exiled past turn. Joint exploration. Great way to take some more damage. What do we do? Attack with this. We gotta get this portal to crack and actually hit all of their creatures. Flip it tonight here if we don't play something. If we're gonna play this anyway, hmm. Do we do it now? I think we wait. On an F14, 
facing two seven sevens and a four four. Is that an invoke despair? If it is, it takes joint exploration off the table. Mishra, permanents you control have ward sacrifice a permanent. Artifacts in your graveyard have an earth. All right, trying the new red black Mishras. No play. Okay, might as well kick it. This is gonna hurt, but we need the land. Mmm, we can do the abrade now. We'd have to sacrifice a permanent though. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that. We'll just take this. Sneak it out there on the battlefield. Pay two. Down to three. Drop them. Good night. Ooh. Oh, Portal 2 Phyrexius. It shouldn't be that good against Mishra. It's a, just a flavor fail. Today's Patreon shout out goes to Andrew Cox. Andrew, thank you very much for joining at the token tier. Your shark, wolf, and fervent champion signed cards are on their way to you. If you would like some sweet benefits like a shout out in video or some tokens delivered right to your door, check out patreon.com slash covert go blue. Andrew, you're very cool. Now back to the video. All right, we've got make disappear and big score. Seems good enough. Two Titans. We might be discarding a Titan to jump into a Titan. We'll see what happens. Deserted beach. Is it soldiers? Is it Mishra? It's domain? Maybe. There's a transformation. Hmm, might be a heck of a staring match. I don't want to cast anything into open mana if I can avoid it. Just hit land drops and chill. Okay, you're going to joint exploration. Let's let them resolve that so they make their scry decision and then cast our big score. Ooh, bombardment. So we've got a lot of very large threats. Just gonna have to figure out how to play them. Opponent do doing nothing here after hitting that land drop. So do we want to cast anything into open mana like that? I mean, I don't know much about their deck. I don't know anything about their deck, but I think we just wait. Because if we get one more land, we can play something like a bombardment and back it up with a make disappear. They're gonna joint exploration, huh? Okay. They're trying to find those lands. We could counter that and hope they never find those lands or tap out for something else, but clearly they're right at home playing Drago. That's the that's the sign of a deck that runs negate, make disappear, things like that. Again. Okay. <laughs> Three of them. But notice that two mana left open. And two to the top, and there's a tap land. Looks like a five color control deck. Definitely some kind of counter magic open that we have to be patient and play around. We're letting them catch up on lands, but that's okay. They kept two on top. Let's see if this is another land. Why wouldn't it be the fourth joint exploration? You know, I have those in my deck. You couldn't let me draw one of them. Especially if you're never going to scry bottom. What's the point? All right. Land, please. Oh, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Okay. I really need land here. So I'm just going to bottom, bottom. And not get there. <laughs> oh, Shuffler's fine, right, guys? I thought maybe I was supposed to keep that fire as a victory, but this feels fine. 
I can't be giving up my treasures, though, when I cast these cards. By the way, only one Titan left in the deck. Gotta keep that in mind with two transformations here. Um, how many basics could you possibly have in a deck with all these triumphs? What a weird card to put in there. There must be something else to it I'm not seeing. If they have the Kami War, removing Arcane Bombardment shouldn't be a big problem for them. Fading Hope to Fairy. Yeah. Okay. And a land. Because why wouldn't it be? All right. We also have to be careful with Chaotic Transformation. Oh, whoa. All right. That's something I can abrade, and now they're tapped out. Let's go. Might be some kind of an Awake in the Woods deck. All right. What do we play? We got him to tap out. Now what do we play? Transformation can be a portal. We don't have a creature. I guess we go for a Titan to make him deal with it. Although it's much better to blow up their artifacts and enchantments, which they probably have in the deck. If they go for a Kami War right now, I can counter it unless they hit an untapped land. Might hit some value. So let's go for that. There's Bombardment. What you gonna do about it? It's time for the, the big threats to start happening. Oh, Leyline. Okay. We can remove that with a Titan. Not worth a counter, I don't think. A Steward of the Tides, okay. So now, land creature becomes 3-3, three, three, has flying. That's fine. I think that's fine. We'll see. Titan. Resolves. All right, let's make a 4-4. And let's destroy this. Now we have a 4-4 for the Chaotic Transformation. And you're back. Which means Make Disappear will get us something. We'll see what. <laughs> um, they still have mana open. I guess I could sack the 4-4, four four, but then I don't have a 4-4 four four to transformation with. But I do have a Titan. All right, let, let it go. It's fine. Oh, you're targeting the Titan. Even better. All right, two three threes. Let's see how scary it gets. Three cards to go in hand. Okay. If I have to sacrifice my creature, I will. All right, casualty. Because they have the mana to pay with those land creatures. Care to pay? Not attack me? Oh, darn. <laughs> All right, what do we get? We get big score. Excellent. What do we discard? Discard one of the transformations. Only one will still hit another Titan. All right, seven. <laughs> Can't goof around much longer. That's an abrade. That will trigger the bombardment. Do we have enough to play Titan? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Need 13 to do transformation and Titan. I guess we can just do it without hitting a creature, though, right? We can. We can just do land. And we can do uh, artifact. All right. Transformation. This is my target artifact. We are not going to target their creature. We could target their enchantment. They'd probably hit another it would probably be another ley line, but it might be something else. I mean, we get a trigger, right? Sounds fun. I don't know if that's smart. We're going to find out. All right, target a land. And target here. Auto pay. We get to cast a big score. Decline the make disappear. Transform. <laughs> awesome. Portal. Land. They get a ley line. Ley line targets what? 
Let's just destroy the ley line. Awesome. I forgot that was really an option, but it is. Oh, if they resolve this on the... Oh gosh, whatever they do, I get another ETV. I guess Bombardment's the best target because it loses what's underneath. Yeah, so that's what they do. I guess we get another Bombardment trigger this turn though, don't we? We sure do. Might even hit another transformation with it. Oh, we don't? Oh, because it's first, because of the wording. Yeah, I knew that. Brain fart. Man, this portal. Oh my goodness. Just a nonstop Titan barraging. But we can also get their Tatiovas. There's another Tatiova. Line binding again. Let's go. What's the target? Target is the portal. Sure. That's fine. My turn. Otawara. Oh, nah. Even better. Titan. I'm getting low. So let's get back up to 11 just to be sure. Sacrifice. Excellent. Oh my goodness. All right, they've got one card. It has to be a good one. Tower cycle. Awake in the woods for three. Okay. I guess I'll pick on some of the little critters. See if we can put this one in the bank. Again. Ah, uh, yeah. Tatiova, come on over. <laughs> you can play for me now. You'll like it here. We do all kinds of damage. Wow. This deck, this deck packs punches. That was a fun bit of haymaking. Absolute haymaker throwing. All right. What can I tell you here about future adjustments to this deck. First of all, the Arcane Bombardment is fun. I would describe that as all it is, is fun. And you can take it out of the deck. Hitting it off Chaotic Transformation is usually not a great chance because there's Fable in the deck. The three Titans seems good. The two portals seems good. Everything else, you have to have the right answers for the meta. So if there's a lot of aggro, if soldiers in particular are doing a lot, you might want some cheap sweepers, including the new one uh, that does three damage to all creatures or destroys artifacts that are three or less. That one could probably fit right into this deck very well. And I still like Fires of Victory, but depending on the meta, you might want some Flame Bless Bolts, some more variety in your removal spot. And I think this deck, until people are playing cheap counter magic like they do in Best of Three, like where there's a lot of Esper, I think if you're able to cast Chaotic Transformation and it resolves a good amount of time, this deck could be a real player. It's an absolute absolute devastator of opponents, especially when you have Fable, which we didn't even have too many times where we capitalized off Fable. So yeah, uh, this, this is a heck of a combo deck and you should play it if you've got the cards. Thank you for watching this video. You stayed till the end. That is the number one thing you can do to support my channel. If you would like to support me further, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Those are two things you can do for free. Then, if you really want to support the channel, there's Patreon, there's memberships, and there's the Dragon Rider Playmat Bundle, which there might still be some in stock at the time I'm saying this. I don't know. I'll have gone away to a football game for a few days. Go blue. Maybe you can see me on the TV on the broadcast. We've got good seats, and I'm going to wear the good old sunglasses and headband. So see if you can find me on TV. And uh, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching this video. You're cool.